Welcome back to day two of the Adventures with the Trailer. Um, so we... Go buy them again. Per usual, as with all things in life, we just paid for the wood for the trailer and they rung up the wrong size boards. So I came to the back with the trailer and realized it then, so David's headed back inside to get the right size rung up. Got the right boards this time? This time. <laughs> I mean, we got the right, we were gonna get the right boards anyway. They just didn't, didn't want to sell it to you. Didn't want to sell them to me. <laughs> Welcome back to day two of the adventure with the trailer. Um, yesterday we worked on the axles getting them aligned, which it did help quite a bit. I think, I don't think we're quite there yet. We might try it one more time, um, see if we can't get it straightened out. Uh, we are tossing around the idea of still just taking it into a trailer shop. Even if I can get it 95% of the way there, it would still be nice to have it all the way there. Plus, they might be able to look at any axles and bearings and make sure they're all true like they're supposed to be. But for right now, we are going to focus on putting the deck on the trailer. So we bought it without a deck, knowing that. Um, we were hopefully trying to get like some white oak or something of that nature. Um, however, just timing wise of selling the other trailer and when some of that would be available just didn't work out. So we went ahead and just went to the Menards and got some pressure treated boards, two by eights. We'll get those thrown on. First couple of prep things. We do have a couple of screws that we'll need to grind off. Um, and this actually needs 16 foot and four inches. So we got 18 inch boards. We'll get those cut and we'll get them thrown on. Um, last time when I did the other trailer, I learned most importantly, pre-drill your holes and then throw your screws in. Um, you'll go through about half the amount of screws because it's your first time going with the screw. It just drills the hole and the second time it actually goes in. So pre-drill them. It's a little bit quicker that way. Um, we do have our power stack DeWalt battery on it. I was using the other one to um, use the impact, see how that went. It went pretty well. Um, faded a little quicker than what I would have thought, but it does about the same as the two amp one. So we put a four amp, got the rest of it done. So we'll go over the tools needed to redeck a trailer. You need your chop saw. You can use a hand saw, circular saw for it. If you don't have one, it's pretty easy. Your boards are going to tuck in underneath anyways. You're probably still going to need your circular saw and because you're more than likely going to have to at least rip one of them down. You need an angle grinder to get your um, screws out. A couple of tapes. Always good to have a hammer laying around. A square to make sure you have square cuts. You are going to need these self-drilling screws, wood to metal. Drill bits that are slightly smaller than your screw. Um, these are Phillips, number three Phillips. We've got number three on our impact. We got our drill, um, some spare batteries, and of course, our favorite drink. Um, other than that, since this one came without a deck, it makes this process a little bit quicker. Um, what I had to do on my other one that came with a deck that we had to replace the deck on, um, I just took the circular saw and I found wherever the screws were and essentially I would cut right behind the screws and then say there was another set of screws here, you would cut behind the screws and you just pry up each of your boards and then go and grind off all of your screw heads and make it flat that way. Um, this way, this trailer, like I said, doesn't have a deck on it, makes it so it should go pretty quick. Um, and then you'll, last thing you'll need is a chalk line when chalking where all of your beams are to get you some nice straight um, lines with your screws and so you're not missing any of your um, support beams.
something. <laughs> what kind of something is it? <laughs> That'll work. See if you can't straighten this veg out a little bit. Yeah, it'll try. Okay. If it saves a $50 board, it saves a $50 board. True. See how it looks. You can always redo it. <laughs> Too long? Yeah. Got an IV right there. Who's better than too short?
So just for a little comparison for um, the two sides, what we had for waste and how many total attempts we had. On our first side, these are all of our wasted um, screws. I think we got like 18 or something here. On the other side, we only had nine wasted screws. And essentially what I was doing is you'd put the screw in. If it didn't go all the way through or it kind of felt like it shipped out, pull it out for the second one. If the second one didn't go through, then I'd grab the drill and I would finish the hole and then put another one in. So all these wasted ones are the ones that the power stack had to roast out essentially. So we had more total um, attempts with the power stack than we did with the um, two amp. Um, and I think that's mostly just because, again, I have a mixed box of screws from a previous batch and this batch. And then um, also just kind of figuring out how much pressure and how much speed to go at the beginning. Like any good old green treated board, it's just not straight. So we've got a couple of screws in it and we're going to use this ratchet strap to pull it over to get it lined up with this edge along here. And then we will finish screwing it. We're finishing up out here um, with the trailer. We got it completely decked and it looks pretty good. Uh, at the time being, we're not going to replace this um, just because it's not really rotten or anything like that. It's just unbleached. We will go ahead and oil it um, here soon and then we will let this sit and we'll let that dry over the course of the summer and then before the winter, we'll actually take our used oil and we will paint it on essentially. And that actually really helps reduce the amount of water that goes into the wood and therefore kind of reduces that freeze and thaw over the winter, which really kind of breaks up your wood and things like that. Some people miss it, mix it with diesel fuel. However, I had some pretty good luck with just using our used motor oil. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. The only thing I don't have is originally um, whoever was going to, whoever owned this previously had a strip you can tell of like a four inch um, piece of trim that went across there. I don't know if we really need it. I mean, that's tucked underneath there a little bit. I will have to go through and kind of grind this down, especially right there. You have a sharp edge. I really don't want that hitting a tire or anything like that. Um, but other than that, it did a pretty, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the way it turned out. We were able to reuse that board over there and it straightened out relatively well i'm pretty happy with all my gaps these gaps are real thin right now but this wood is also very fresh and very wet and like the other trailer that we did when we redecked it eventually this will compress down a little bit it, the swelling will go away and you'll get some nice gaps in between there um, down the center we do have some gaps in it already just because we had to make up some space because we were reusing this and we weren't putting a full two by six in it. So those gaps will be a little bit bigger in the near future, but that's fine. Um, the best method that I found kind of towards the end was you would take one screw 
and you would put it in, you'd hit the metal, you'd grind it down some, you would then go back through with your drill and you would finish your hole and then you could reuse that same screw and put it back in. I did try using your using the the drill first because on our previous trailer that's how we did it we just pre-drilled all of the holes we used five or six bits however the first two holes i tried pre-drilling it just blew up the bit essentially um i think this is thicker gauge steel than my other trailer which makes sense because it's a much heavier trailer um but that seemed to work the best we still have a decent amount of life in our drill bits and um it reduced the amount of waste of trying to like go over with two or three uh, screws. So that was about the best method that I found. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have a better way of putting a deck on or a better way of getting those screws in. I don't necessarily like those screws. There's some better like self-tapping metal ones that I have found. Um, but I haven't been able to find them recently. So let me know what you guys think and um, if you guys have any other options of how to put a deck on a little quicker with the screwing so that's that's literally what took the most amount of time cutting the boards putting them in place that went relatively smooth we only had because we measured it and we were able to tuck that two by six underneath we only had to cut down one board which was nice so it's actually not too bad if you find yourself a trailer you can usually get them pretty cheap if the deck is um rotten out um pretty easy to cut a deck out and put a new deck on so don't be afraid to get one you can usually get it at a at a decent discount uh compared to one with a a good deck so it's it's not that hard and i would recommend it mm -hmm.